Hi guys, Google here. Today I'm going to walk through the process which I usually take for my artwork. From the beginning of the design, where do I get my color palette from, where I get my idea from, and all that stuff. So first, let's start with the sketch. I always start my design by thinking of a subject. Normally I go be between animals and human. For the animal character, I used to I usually give them a, a popping eye with a lot of blood vessel running to their eyes. And for the human character, I tend to blank out their eyes. Well, for for the reason behind that is the human figure is just a shell for for myself to like be in different character all the time. And each and every character I draw are, are driven from the, those character I want to be in at at that moment. And for the animal to have a popping eye is, is just the reflection of my uh, inner self, my behavior, and my struggle throughout my life. Each and every time I start a drawing, I, I always start with a circle that leads to the, the head. And then I drag out the eyebrows, the nose, then work the way down from the top to bottom. I design the posture of the character according to my mental state at the time. Little note here, due to that mental state that I'm in, uh, I actually have a depression disorder and it deals with, an with anxiety. And every time I try to go out on to speak in public or, or to, to speak, just normally, I, I tend to stutter every time I try to speak, both in my native language and in, in English. And, and due to this problem, uh, I'm, I'm a totally tongue twister and my brain, my brain runs wild and I, my mouth cannot catch up with what I think in my head. So put that aside, every time I'm in different state of mind, I design my character according to, to the state of mind that I'm, I'm in at that moment. And today's design was like, I have been really depressed for a couple of months now since the pandemic and I don't I don't really have other means of releasing the stress except drawing. The drawing helps me with it with my depression. And the concept of the design today is that it's me who who is trying to reach for a light that usually saves me. All those character inside the, the small character are what helps me through the depression states like the cats, the toys, all all the stuff that I love, that I like, that I, I enjoy looking at and helps the connection to me during my childhood. And these all combine into this piece, like this is really me. This piece represents me. My depression mess my, my life a lot that I cannot draw a straight line. I cannot speak properly. And you, you, you will see in the line art that I show within the clips. And next is the, the color palette that I normally go by, which is like the pale green, uh, light blue, pastel, purple, all, all the dull colors that, that, that I use usually are, are the color that I see in, in, in my day in everyday living like you can bring up a normal color to me but in my mind in my head sometimes it, it changes the color automatically to those color that i use in my art these colors are, are not well matched but it represent uh, the state of mind at the time i really enjoy the use of these colors like mix and match Sometimes doesn't doesn't match, but it really helps me to get everything out of my mind. With that palette in mind, I usually lay out the color of each and every character first when I start the sketch, and then when I ink them, I ink with the, the darkest color of that palette, like you see in the clip. The skin color are blue. I tend to go to the darkest blue of that color and then ink the character with that color. I ink every line, set the color tone 
for the, the whole piece and then I start to fill in the color. That, and there's, there's a lot of technique to uh, fill the color once you have the outline. But for me, I, 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 I like to pick up the paintbrush and then just fill them in individually and zoom in to clean up the color inside. This process helped me to double check my inking, double check my mistakes in, in the sketch. And I do really enjoy the process of coloring in, in this point so much because it just... My, my mind just go blank at the time and I fell deep into what I'm doing so that I don't think about anything else. After all the base color fill in, I will do the shadow. I create a new layer on top of the base color. I usually use dark blue to be the color of my shadow. I, I don't know about others who use black, gray or other shadow color, but the, the dark blue shadows are my favorite. I like the deep blue skies at night. In all my work, I tend to go this way. It will not flat your work out. It will bring much more dimension to your work than using a simple black shadows in your work and for me like i like to do a cell shape color a, sh a big chunky shadows on on all my art i don't tend to blend the shadows with the colors i like the crispy edge of the of the shadows that that it make on the on the piece it just i don't know i it really suit my styles. Well, most people tend to like the blending effect of, of the shadow, but for me, hard shadow just, it speaks to me. <laughs> I know this is getting too personal for me to teach you, but what I'm trying to say is that just go the way you like and then make the art that, the way you like. Don't care about anyone else. If you like it, it's good for you. Once you like your work, you you want you will want to continue to draw and produce more pieces, and one after the other, one after the other, you will you will eventually get better and better as the time flies by. So don't ever doubt yourself that you are not a good artist or anything. Just go with it. Look at my work; it's not the best. It doesn't even look good to many of the people uh, perspective but for me this this piece is good enough for me now i i will eventually become better and better if i keep drawing well then after all the shadows that lay in i will pick up black color and when i do on paper i, I will go light on the shadow scratching like I don't know what I don't know what it's called, but I just go and make some scratch line in the shadow area to give it some texture. When I'm doing in a drawing tablet, it has a pressure sensitivity, right? I will go light on that so the black color is not opaque and giving it nice and easy strokes on the on the shadows. It will bring more depth, more dimension, more texture into the drawing, and. Yeah, that is probably it. This is a finished piece uh, and I hope you guys like it. If you get the meaning behind this piece, I'm, I'm grateful. If not, then it's okay. I just like to draw. And shout out to those who are uh, facing the same situation that I am in. Do not give up. Just find something you like and do it. It doesn't have to be something that costs money. It can be anything. For me, it's drawing. It really helps. And please don't be shy to tell your close one about your about your problem, because those are the only people who who will be there to help you go through this situation. And that's it for my video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you're well for the day, and the year, for your life. <laughs> I'm starting to be weird. So if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment if you want. If you want to see something in this channel, you can also leave a comment down below. Share the video for, for your friends to see, get the word out. 
and please subscribe to my channel so I know that uh, there are some people who appreciate what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you again sometime soon. Bye bye.